Hello friends and today we shall discuss Plotly. Plotly in Python and we shall see the data visualization with Plotly and we will go through an example in Jupyter Notebook. So first of all what is Plotly? So this Plotly is a Python library and it is a very interactive and open source plotting library. And what happens is it provides very user interactive uh, charts and uh, uh, what do you say wide range of uh, geographical, financial, scientific and uh, three-dimensional use cases wherein you can plot like bar plots, line graphs, uh, bar pie charts and so many interactive things and uh, with this uh, Plotly. So uh, apart from Matplotlib and C1 which are basic, this Plotly provides a very interactive and a very very good range of uh, data visualization tools. So. I will show you how do we really practice this and what you do is first of all you have to install this plotly and in your anaconda prompt what you do is you write this conda install hyphen c plotly plotly underscore express when this is done it will ask you whether you want to go ahead or not and you write there yes I mean y or n so you write yes there and it will here proceed or not and you say proceed and you can see here it is 0 0.6 by and uh, 0 0.4.1 it is here this thing and it will download and extract all the packages here and when it is done it will execute and the transaction is being done okay so when you when you're done with this you open your Jupyter notebook okay and your anaconda prompt when you open it it will open by default in your uh, local browser by default your uh, home page would be open so this is the home page my home page your home page might look different according to the files you have so i have created one um, data folder called data analysis wherein we do all the data analysis so in this i have got tips data and this is a tips data set and one plotly i have made so on tips data set, we'll do this plotly plots. What is this tips data we have already done in the previous video. I will provide you the link. Please go and brush, brush it up a little bit. So this we've done visualization with C1. And in this video, we'll do it, do it with plotly. So what this, the, I'll, I'll tell you the uh, you know summary of this uh, tips data. And it contains 244 rows and 7 columns. And uh, you have total bill, tip the sex, the gender, smoke, whether the person is a smoker or a non-smoker, the day the person is coming for the lunch or dinner, the time of it, and the size. So you can make various inferences from this, from the visualization that how many are males and females, how many smoker, non-smoker paying, how much bill, and what is the size distribution like uh, the males and females and total bill who pay maximum bill who pays less bill who gives more tip and on what day the tips see the days are four and what is the tip highest tip received in on sunday and uh, the smoker yes they give high 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 tip so this is what we've gone through the entire year set so please go ahead i'll provide you the video and it's here also right mentioned so uh, we come to Plotly, what we have done is, what you have to do is you have to import pandas SPD and you import Plotly.expressSPX. Since we have already uh, imported this, all the packages with Plotly, so it will be executed. When you will run this, it would be imported. And then what you do is, in, in an object, create an object, df. In that, you write px.data.tips. In this, I'm directly calling this tips data set from sklearn. sklearn is again a Python library where in it contains all the toy data sets. One of them is tips, right? And another being uh, like you have got Boston and Iris and furthermore data sets. So we are taking here tips here. Then you do is in a figure again, I have plotted this px and I take pi of it. And what I do is I take this data tips and then the values I take tip and in the names I give day color discrete sequence this is what the syntax is 
and I and I give this as sequential document. You can give any of this. So it is like uh, okay. this is document, and then you do figure dot show, and what happens is you get this. Okay. Now what the important feature is Plotly is it is interactive, and you can see that it the hover also comes here. And when I and I just put place my arrow here, I get this that this is the day started day. And the tip receipt total is 260.4, that is 35.6% of the entire percentage, right? And this is Saturday. Here you can see in the legend also. Now on Sunday, what happens is it is the tip receipt is this much. You can see the tip receipt on Thursday and on Friday, right? So this is interactive, like right? you can see the hover and, and things like that. And also you can see that you want to download it, you can download this. Right, you can double show closes data of a hover, and this is like its production sign. Now, let's come to the next thing. Now, again, I have plotted this with a different uh, experiment with different colors. You can go ahead and see with the shift plus tab. If you see, you will get all the details. Okay, I have, I have entered shift plus tab, and then you can see the various the parameters you can pass here, right. And you can see the description. Go ahead and see, and you'll find so many things in here, right? Okay. Then you can just close this. What you do is, I have taken the steps data again, and then in the figure, you have this pie, and the data is df. The steps you can simply write here instead of df. You can write this also here. Okay. Then value is tip, and in this names I'm taking this as because I want. Uh, bought according to males and females, so I'm taking names as male and female, and in color I give this purple, and uh, the title will be tips data set, which has been here, and then I I give this hover data. Now see this hover data is total bill. That is what I want. That it should also show me the tape, the total bill, and labels total bill, total bill. This is what it has to be given. So what I do is I get this total bill and I get the values and names also. Okay, I get the value that it is sex and it is male that is 66.3% and they are giving the total bill as 10.34 total and the tip total received is this much. Alright. Okay. And here are two the females. Okay. Okay. Now let's come to the next one. And we have here as so I'm just showing you that any anything on the hover data you can write. Okay, you can write here smoker, you can write here. Uh, different uh, this thing uh, try it with different uh, parameters like you have uh, day time so we'll see here I have ex I have I have done this uh, let's see here now see this is again another feature which we have experimented now what what is here we have taken again pie pie chart and here I have taken this data as df dot tips and then values is tip name is sex that is males and females and the color discrete is red and blue so um, that is what it gives and the title is again tips data set now hover I have taken smoker and day and the labels are this and now what I have given is this important thing figure update traces so what it gives is the text position I have given inside so you can see females inside males inside and the text information what what I want inside the text is percent plus label okay so this percent plus label I want so that is what it is giving me okay so this is over I'm getting smoker no Sunday and the day I'm getting and the female or male and the percentage right okay so similarly if you want it outside you can write it outside okay now try experimenting it with different uh, features okay and different colors it will be fun playing with it okay next we come to days let's experiment something with days okay so again I have got this data and what I do is in the object called figure I have this pie and I give in this tips data set then in the values I have this tip and in names I've got this day so and the color would be day okay and what what I do is I define each uh, day as color so I can give it any color like um, Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday assign different colors and then I give it figure dot show. So what I get is this. And when you hover over it, it will tell me that this is the day is Saturday, and the tip is like two sixty point four, and uh, the percentage of it. And similarly, you can see Friday, Thursday, and Sunday. So highest I'm getting it on Saturdays and Sundays. So people are dining out, you know, more on weekends. Okay. 
Next, we come to another feature here that uh, what I have done is I have simply experimented the same thing again. I wanted to see with total bill. So that, that is how it comes like. Uh, previously, we had this here tips, but here it is bill. So what about total bill? So here what the total bill is. Okay. So total bill again exceeds on uh, Saturdays and Sundays. Right? On Sunday, it is much higher as compared to other days. So you can just uh, have a good visualization of plot tree and it is very good in representation and when you're presenting in front of your team, so it, it is a good, good handy tool and very, very robust interactive uh, graphs we get, right? So next is, next is another feature which I'm showing you here that is a scatter. Now I have shown you that pie, now this is a scatter. So what I do is again in the figure of px.scatter, I take this data as tips and x, and x axis I will take a total bill and in y I take tip and the color is a smoker, all right? That there I had taken hue, if you remember. So here the color I have taken as smoker, yes or no. And the title is string smoker value mean discrete colors, okay? So, and I and I show figure dot show. So you can see these various things, you can zoom in. Okay, uh, okay, and you can zoom in and you can zoom out, zoom out. Again, this is a full screen auto scale reset access zoom. You can take it up, you can download this box select, whatever you want, you can just do it, right? So that is what interactive this makes it more more interesting. Then I can see here, and when I hover over these things, any of the any of the dots, the scatter plots, it will show me that. This this point is no, and this is that means a no smoker paying bill as 17.59 and giving a tip of 2.64. So any individual thing I want, I suppose I take this extreme, this thing, and this tip is the highest, and this is a smoker who is paying like the highest tip, and the total bill is 50.81 dollar or something. Again, I see that even a non-smoker pays a good bill, like I mean a good tip nine. So it is not like let's see the lowest. A smoker yes and giving tip just one dollar and the bill is also also less so so higher the bill higher the tip you know you can see the proportion and the direct relation with this and i can also see that this is quite interesting to see that yes is a smoker paying the, what amount of bill and what amount of tip so go ahead with more plotting and one more plot i'll show is of uh, total bill and tip again I have plotted this here tip and the total bill but here is the so on what day on which day you get uh, what bill and what tip so it is very very good you know so again I again the title is you know smoker value mean discrete colors so th these are mean discrete colors actually in plot leaf. that's why it's, it's like discrete colors it is it's plotting so as you can see that Sunday is blue so if I if I just Hover over this, it is Sunday and the total is $48.17 and tip is $5, $5. And here you can see Saturday is the highest bill. So means on Saturdays you're getting the highest bill and highest tip as compared to, you know, Fridays. And most of this, this is residing here. Thursdays also, but you've got minimum, you know, like $10, $1, $1 tip, $2 tip, two, 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 two here. See, just hover over it and you will understand how this really works out and so interactive this is as compared to if i show you this c bond feature which is static and what we have done is this if you hover over it nothing will come it is just a simple plot and it is very uh, like what is fixed in this um, workbook it is there so you can see just and you have to just figure it out like it is three here on thursday smokers and the tip is uh, maximum like the distribution is three for smoker and for non-smoker it is somewhere there, like here but i can also um, with plotly what i can do is i can understand that the total bill is what and like suppose i can understand the day is friday the total bill is 22.49 dollar and the tip is 3.5 which makes sense and it's so easy to interpret the data and and explain and communicate this thing this message to your teammates right the next is uh, Again, you can just play around with lunch and dinner. So like timing, if I have taken, so again, I've taken total bill and tip because these are the variables they, we are concerned with. And then I have taken time as 
lunch and dinner and color discrete as I've taken rainbow just playing around with colors and its sequence what sequence it has go ahead and see it has got various sequences and again I want to see the color discrete how it displays and so I get this and now if I hover over this I see that the time is dinner and tip is three and the total bill is something like around $32 and here also if I see so the people are coming more for dinner and paying good tip paying good bill but for lunch if I say that yes they are coming but less and more on that means weekdays they are coming for lunch and uh, for dinner they are coming on Saturdays and Sundays so this could be inferred that they are coming for dinner with their families and Saturdays and Sundays and here for some you know professional corporate work uh, that they're coming for lunch even for dinner also so it's like you can infer many things from this so that's all for this video of Plotly and it's a very very good tool please use it and uh, I shall come up with more interesting videos so stay tuned and thanks for watching please go ahead and like the video also if you really like it it will encourage me to make more such videos for you all thank you